In Winston Cup stock car racing, Goodyear and Hoosier are having a so-called tire war, and the media love that term because it's short and snappy and implies lots of drama and action. How good are those Hoosiers really? Well, they've been good for us. You know, we ran them at Daytona, we won Richmond with them, we ran them at Rockingham, won that race. Bill's easy win at Pocono Sunday came on Hoosier tires after NASCAR ruled that the 1100 tires Goodyear brought to the track were illegal. NASCAR's decision made Pocono the first Winston Cup race in 30 years to run with no Goodyear tires in the field. Then came the announcement that Goodyear was pulling their radial tires from all Daytona competition. It will not work on oval track racing. Uh, the Goodyear radials not only are fast, but they are getting very good wear. Hoosier Tire has once again thrown its hat into the ring. But last Sunday's Coca-Cola 600 reminded us that in wars, there are casualties. This wasn't so much a race as a kamikaze mission. Stuck on tires that were hopelessly inadequate, the drivers raced on, and their tires exploded, and they hurtled helplessly into the wall. Oh, he blew a tire. I blew that tire, and it literally scared me. Before I ever hit the wall, I was scared that I was going to be hurt badly. We were just one of about 10 people that blew tires today and ended up in the wall. Everybody thought no problems with the Goodyears, but we're seeing problems. Why are we seeing problems? I just asked one of the Goodyear engineers, and he said, I wish I know. The sad spectacle at Charlotte Sunday reminds us that tire wars are like most other wars. Nobody won, and everybody lost.